Well, this week's rainfall certainly welcome, especially by the farmers. Mm -hmm. They like that a lot. But the wet weather could be making lakes and ponds on Delmarva dangerous for dogs. Well, one family knows this firsthand. Their dog, Copper, died after fetching a tennis ball from a lake. Now they're sharing their story as a warning for other dog owners. It was really fun to play with. Copper was part of the Tadji family for five years. Just a fun-loving, crazy retriever. Loved the water, loved hanging out with the family, and loved chasing balls. That's what he was doing at the family home on a lake when the golden retriever started acting strange. The last couple times he didn't try to go get the tennis ball and he just kind of laid down. And a few minutes after that, you know, he expired. So it, it, I couldn't believe how aggressively it, it hit him. The Tadji said Copper ingested some green goop that had surfaced in the water. The algae's right up under the dock, right up here by the shore, and it's like a bright green, slimy, bubbly substance. It just makes me sick. It's just disgusting. It has a, a range of effects. The most dangerous situation is when it's actually ingested. Pollution control expert Glenn Scupta said blue-green algae looks like a splash of paint in the water. In this case, it was mixed in with other non-toxic algae, so it wasn't as obvious. It most likely grew because of the recent rainfall. It had more phosphorus run off into the lakes, and it's high phosphorus and warmth that really drive a blue-green algae bloom. The Tadjis hope what happened to copper will help make people more aware of what to look out for. It's extremely unfortunate we lost just a you know, good buddy and a member of the family, but hopefully other people can benefit through education and try to prevent this. Now, blue-green algae can be dangerous for people, too, but we're much less likely to ingest it. The kids were in the water with copper and are doing fine. Glenn says, as a general rule, when in doubt, just stay out. Just stay out. And that, of course, was an accidental ingestion. Right, right. And, of course, we never want to give our dogs something that could hurt them. We want to give them the good stuff. Yes, like what we eat, right? Eh, I know I, I know about occasion. that. The good news is that according to dogtime.com, many of the foods that are good for us are also good for our dogs, and the reverse is true as well. In other words, do feed them lean meats, whole grains, and vegetables. But don't pass on to your canine friend your leftover lasagna rolls or fries. Now, it's, it's hard to resist it, but the FDA is warning that it could be fatal to feed Fido from the table. So dangerous, they have actually put out an official statement listing the worst human foods for dogs. We love them, so we feed them. But what we feed them could kill them. In fact, the same chemical that gives dark chocolate its distinctive taste can be fatal to dogs. Cocoa beans contain caffeine and theobromine. Dogs can't metabolize it as fast as humans, and that makes it poisonous to them. Other dangerous foods include grapes. They can cause kidney damage for our four-legged friends. Garlic and onions can also be toxic, damaging red blood cell production. Avocados contain the chemical person that can cause an obstruction of the gastrointestinal tract. And even though it seems harmless, keep ice cream away from Fido. These frosty treats can cause serious intestinal problems that can lead to internal bleeding. Okay, so one general rule, do not give your dog food that you would not eat yourself, including raw meat. It can cause bacterial infections, and the same thing goes for fish especially salmon. Now, you probably remember the scandal of just a few years ago when hundreds of dogs and cats died after eating contaminated pet food. And a lot of people decided just to make their own dog food. Maybe you'd like to try that too, but what do you put in it? That's a big question. According to dogtime.com, while meat's the mainstay of a good canine diet, veggies, grains, and an occasional taste of fruit are also healthy for them. Now, while fat is an essential part of the canine diet, it's not for Fido's food. Too much can cause stomach upset or even pancreatitis, so skip the fatty meat, skin, butter, and other high-fat fare. Beware of bones. Cooked bones can cause choking or intestinal tearing. Dogtime.com says that marrow bones are considered safe as long as they're at least two inches long to avoid splintering. And don't feed your dog what you wouldn't eat. Fat, gristle, and skin aren't any better for your dog than it is for you. So, I've got to admit, at our house, we kind of have a tendency to put a little treat on top of the food, you know, just 
make sure it's not the bad stuff. That's yeah, the thing. yeah. And with the hot summertime weather, you hear us constantly reminding you about taking care of your pets in the heat. Don't leave them in the car. Make sure they have shade. Make sure they have water. But there's a viral post making the rounds on social media websites warning pet owners not to feed their four-legged friends ice. The claim? It could be fatal for your pooch, especially in the height of summer. Is it true or just another urban legend? You may have seen the post on social media sites or heard the rumor from a friend. Feeding your dog ice or throwing those frozen cubes in their water bowl could be deadly. That it can uh, increase their chances of bloating, which is swelling of, of the stomach, and then uh, dilatation of ovulus, which means the, t the stomach can turn on itself, and that's a surgical emergency. The terrifying tale is linked to this article that's making the viral rounds called No Ice Water for Dogs, Please Read ASAP. It describes a pet owner's experience where a dog almost died after being given ice water. The article claims the cold water caused the dog to bloat. It's one that Chris Emig recently spotted online. I actually saw it on Facebook. Total myth. There's nothing wrong with giving your pets a little bit of ice when it's hot outside. Dr. Stephanie Markey says ice won't harm your pet, but heat exhaustion and not enough fresh water in the summer definitely can. If your pets don't seem to want to drink as much as normal, you can sneak extra water in with their food or try a fountain. Other warning signs that the heat is getting to your furry friends? Exhaustion, they're not themselves. Um, you know, not eating, sometimes we get burned paw pads. He is uh, tiny and black and he kind of, he kind of is figuring out when he's uh, getting overheated, but pretty much I throw him in the pool a lot. For some of these pet owners who feed their dogs ice water without a second thought, relieved to know that a viral rumor is just that. I heard that it wasn't good, but I also heard that, you know, they recanted the story and it was, you know, safe now. And as hot as it is, not only is it a good idea to give your dog something cool to drink, but why not upgrade them to an icy treat? According to canigivemydog.com, pop a treat in the freezer and you have a frozen puppy pot that they're guaranteed to love. I have to admit, <laughs> it, sounds good. it does sound good. It does sound good. I have to admit, I saw that post on Facebook and I was right. like, wow. But I immediately went and researched it a little bit and found out it and wasn't true. Just another one of those things. Yeah. Okay, so by now you should have a pretty good handle on how to keep Fido safe, right? Sorry, what? <laughs> you don't have a furry friend? Uh oh. <laughs> we can't have that. Delmarva Life Sean Stryker is in Worcester County today hanging out with a few fur balls that would love to be yours, Sean. Well, this awesome guy, Hugo, would love to be adopted. He's a one year old German Shepherd. Coming up, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about him. And a little later on, the Stems are back in Studio D to take the Delmarva Life stage. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.